Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO's Heroes content. So today we'll be discussing uh, and giving my first impressions on FC Monica's banner. So sit back and relax, but before that, if you want to see more EXO's Heroes content, please hit the subscribe button down below. So here we have a notice for a Fate Core Chance increase for Monica Supernova, so it's her FC. So this one will drop tomorrow, October 15th, so after the maintenance, and it will be for a week. So the main hero, which is FC Monica, so she's currently an, a rare character or a rare hero in our game. So this is her design, which I think looks better than Wilkes. So for her feet core ability, so attack is 86, defense is 54, health is 292, and combat power 16,200. It's a bit average for, for FC who is rare. Then we'll start with her passive. So her passive is focus fire. So same with her with her original form. So afflicts target with focus fire mark and decreases dodge slash block for one basic round on basic attack. So gains one mana if target dies while marked. So it's the same. So she has two added passives because of the synergy, uh, synergy passive. So she has superstar, so afflicts the attention mark for seven turns to the target when the skill hits increases all damage over time on the target with attention by 100%. Next is your fan meeting, so afflicts the anti-fan mark to the target when attacked. Triggers double team on all living allies if the health of enemy with an anti-fan is 30% or lower once every 7 turns. My take on this is, um, this is, this is similar for the three of them, so you have Jinai and Wilkes first. It's again as expected, not so not so overwhelming. It's your you know it's your black fate core, so it's it's expected similar to Wilkes's. But if you haven't had, you know, if you haven't summoned Janai for her banner and you don't, and you don't have Wilkes, I think that's the only reason you should summon for her. So let's check out her S one. So her S one is called on the stage. So deals 187% damage to one enemy. So over time, afflicts target with frostbite, dealing 82% damage for every for every three turns. So to to compare with her previous form, so the damage is increased. The, her previous damage for her original one was 150%, and for her uh, overtime damage. Before it was 65, so the same duration at three turns. So a bit improvement on on her FC, and for her S2, it's crowd surfing. So it deals 525% damage, piercing damage to one enemy. So it's the same, but again the damage has been increased from 420 to 525. So again, it's it's still your basic synergy uh, package with a little buffs on the damage side. So again, if you do if you haven't had Janai or Wilkes, um, that's the only time that you summon for her. So Monica's FC, your your chance to summon her it's zero point seven percent. Okay. So each one recruit with mileage, you, you recruit 11 times. So she can be pity pulled up to 19 times. So she also has her Crystal Stinger, which is her FC weapon. So it's the usual weapon for, for, for Fate Course. They usually have one come with them when, when their banner drops. So I would not really recommend you summoning for this one. Um, it's the same rate as her FC at 0.7% and it's still Zest. So again, my simple take on FC Monica is number one, I think she is better than Wilkes. Um, she has a better kit than Wilkes. Number two, 
if you haven't had any luck summoning for any banner uh, for Janai or for Wilkes, you can try to summon for Monica. But again, she doesn't have a place in our meta as of the moment. She can be she can be good with her dot damage, but you'll need to you'll need to really test her out. And she will be good for new players, for new to going to mid-range players who don't have enough heroes on the roster yet. So um, I think um, if you don't need her at this time, and if you have extra zest, I would suggest that you hold on to them while you have extra zest and wait for the next banner to drop. I'm sure the next banner would be would be a better kit than the synergy ones. Although Jinai was the only one that was great for this one. Um, for Monica, she's. Uh, it depends on which part of the game are you in. If you're a beginner and if, and if you have extra zest, you can pull for her. Um, if you like her kit and if you've used her, actually I've used her before uh, when I was starting. So if you're a starting player and if you have Monica, um, try to pull for her because she can help your team. If you're a mid to advanced player, try to skip this banner, um, go for the next one. I'm sure the next one would be better than, than this one. So guys, that's just it. This is just my first impression of FC Monica's banner. So you all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you have any comments and suggestions, please drop them below. Warden out.